Hello, I'm a disc jockey, and following a Beatle performance, one of my listeners wrote me a touching letter. Because it really happened, I'd like to share it with you. Dear Casey, if you're wondering what it is that I'm writing about, I'll tell you. I hugged my favorite Beatle, George Harrison. On August 19th, the night of the Beatle performance at the Cow Palace in San Francisco, two of my friends came along with me. Naturally, when I saw George walk on stage, I screamed my heart out. When he sang, I knew that I had to touch him. When they announced their last song, I nudged Eric, the boy that I was with, and told him that I was going outside to try and find the limousines that they'd leave in. He said that he'd come with me. We ran outside and found that other people had the same idea. The crowd was so big, I lost Eric. I started to run all around looking for him, but I couldn't find him. Finally, I reached a part behind the cow palace where nobody was, and I decided to turn back. As I started to leave, I thought that I saw something behind the bushes. I looked, and I saw the limousines parked close together. A fence was separating the limousines from me. Without thinking, I climbed the fence and approached the two cars. They were very well hidden from the public eye, and my heart skipped a beat when I figured they were the same limousines that the Beatles would leave in. Something caught my eye. I looked up and saw George and Paul walking together behind them, Ringo and John. George and Paul were talking with a couple of guards and laughing. They didn't see me. Before I knew what was happening, I was running to George. I caught him, and I hugged him. Boy, I sure did cling. He was taken by surprise, and when he realized what was happening, he smiled at me and said, Hi, Bird. The tears were running down my cheeks, and I clung hard, but couldn't say a word. Paul stood there and stared with a grin. Ringo passed and looked at me with his mouth open. John passed and just glanced at me for a second. John and Ringo, followed by a couple of men, climbed in one limousine and left. The guards were trying to pull me away while George grinned and Paul stared. Finally, when they pulled us apart, Paul opened the door for George and they both climbed into the car. When they were both in the car, I broke away from the guards and I ran and touched the door handle that Paul had touched. Paul and George both turned around and waved to me with big grins on their faces. I walked in a daze back to where Eric was. Eric came up to me and asked me where I was. When that the other girl with us saw the tears in my eyes, noticed that I was breathing hard and saw that my eyes were wandering. I muttered that I had hugged George, and she nearly fainted right then. Eric asked me a bunch of questions, but I kept muttering that I hugged George. When I'd calmed down, Lynette and Eric asked question after question. My dad laughed when I told him. My mom touched my hand. My girlfriends were and are very envious. One thing that I'll always remember is the way George said, Hi, Bird. It was so romantic, and he was so handsome. Well, Casey, thanks for reading this. Elena.